We were talking a little bit about the kinds of materials that you use. Could you, could you go into that a little bit more? Did you use plaster? What were the actual categories? Well, you, you know, that's kind of standard in motion picture business. They have, you know, they make what they call skins or this or rock, rock or brick. But the problem is, if it's not carefully painted, it always looks phony. It, you know, even brick, uh, if you're close on it, never. And if you get the courses wrong, there's a lot of things people do that they, 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 the courses aren't correct. Brick courses are always done in a certain way. And if the joints uh, overlap and things like that, it doesn't look right, you know. It, uh, but the big job always is painting it to, to, to look that looks real. You know, it's a difficult job. You have painters that are really marvelous. They can take uh, any kind of oak grain, uh, maple, and just do it for you. Some of these guys are absolutely astounding, really. So. Did you know any by name that you would use, you know, again and again? Or? Yeah, there's one guy called Hollywood, believe it or not, that I used to know, Hollywood. That I would, if I had any kind of a film of any importance, I would try to get these guys as painters. They'd be the boss painter because they can do certain aging and certain things that are real, you know? The very, Painting is a very, in, in films, probably the painter is the most important uh, technician you have. It really is. Without that, it doesn't look real, you know? The aging it and doing the things properly is the key to the whole thing, you know? Water runs, and it's an old building. Uh, you think about it, it has to look old, you know? You can't, like doing an old castle as a set, it's a bear, you know? You have to get various colors and water runs, and molding. But a good painter knows how to do that, and so you don't have to sweat it out, you know. From from the uh, 40s and 50s and then till like the 60s and 70s, what was like the biggest change in technology um, or materials that, that was revolutionary at the time? I don't think there were anything. I just did things as quicker. So they went to rubber, for an example for bricks and things, but it, I don't think it looked any better than the old plaster. Mm -hmm. And they have today rubber moldings, but they've always had those in the sense that it's quicker. Uh, do a different kind of wall board, but it, basically the problems are, I imagine, still the same, you know. It, uh, it's getting it to look right is the problem. Uh,